It wouldn't be a sunup program if we didn't ask him, where are we at with the price of wheat right now? What do you look at uh, what's went on in the market over, say, uh, the last month, month and a half? Uh, we've, we've taken a dollar off that KC July uh, wheat price. The basis has increased a little bit, but this last week uh, we got a 23 cent positive price move in one day. I mean, we hadn't had that in, in some time. So uh, overall, we, we've got a dollar to uh, 80 cents uh, lower prices right now. So what's causing, yet again, even lower prices? Well, we can blame it on a lot of things. I think one of the big factors is your managed uh, money funds, those speculators uh, on soft red winter wheat. Uh, they're uh, short over 72,000 uh, contracts. That's 362 million bushels. Hard red winter wheat's a record short position by the funds. Uh, almost 47,000 contracts. That's 234 million bushels of wheat that they're short on right now. Mm -hmm. And as they got into those short positions, a light volume in the market, and uh, it just drove, drove prices uh, down. Another factor, I think, is the dollar. You know, the index of the dollar got over 97 uh, uh, percent there. Uh, it has dropped off the, the last week, and I think that's probably one reason we had a little rally. Last week and the week before, you've been really talking about the Ford contract prices. Is, is it worth Ford contracting right now? I don't think so. There's a, a lot can happen between now and the harvest. Uh, you can forward contract in most of Oklahoma around $4.30 a bushel, you know, plus or minus 15 or 20 cents. In the panhandle, it's 4.20. The basis in most of Oklahoma is a minus 20 cents, somewhere in that vicinity below that uh, July contract. And you got the panhandle that's a minus 30 cents. So taking all of that information and then looking at first hollow stem approaching across Oklahoma or, or, or moving its way across Oklahoma right now, is it worth financially, is it worth pulling cattle off the wheat or, or, or grazing the wheat out? Well, I think it's more than a quote, financial position. Uh, if you've had those cattle on there all winter and if they're on there, they have been, then what weight are, are they? Uh, you got to put a pencil to it, uh, and I'd even make it more simple. Are you a cattleman or are you a wheat producer? If you're a cattleman, you'll probably want to uh, keep the cattle out there, and you've probably got lightweight cattle in that you can carry them through, and that might be a smart, smart thing for you to do. If you're a wheat producer, and I'm talking about wheat producers that average 40, 50, maybe even 60 bushels per acre, you probably want to stay with wheat because that's where your expertise is, that's where you can make your money, and that's where you're going to make your money on, over time. Also, as I said, it's a long time between now and harvest. Uh, yeah, it's a few months, but we make this crop in March, April, and May uh, time period. Uh, we, can, we can either increase yield quite a bit or decrease yield quite a bit. Price can change. You know, we took a dollar off in a month and a half. We can put a dollar back on there in a couple of weeks if the situation turns. So a lot can happen right now, but it boils down to what do you like to do and what does your pencil say or computer say in this case you should do. Okay, thank you very much. Great advice. Kim Anderson, grain marketing specialist here at Oklahoma State University.